Hey everybody, so thanks for uh, stopping by my carbon shed today. Uh, we are going to kalimba up this cow skull. If you saw the last video, I did a bunch of carving onto it, kind of some fun crazy stuff. Uh, and today we're going to install the kalimba part and we're going to stain it up. Hopefully it'll turn out good. Um, I always say that, but I'm sure it will. So. First things first, I'm going to cut out the hole uh, for the kalimba part here and then these two bolts I'm going to cut out that way I can sit it in there and then the idea is to hopefully um, inset the wooden part here, the plank, into the skull just a little bit. Now like I showed last week, this is kind of how the brain cavity looks uh, inside of the skull and my hope is that I positioned it correctly that the hole will be uh, right here so that there's only one layer of bone that we're going to go through instead of uh, two layers which would be on either side of this. I'm going to cut out the hole and then see how, where we stand. Okay, so my calculations were a little bit off. I am going to have to go through a second layer, but I think that's okay actually because I think essentially I'm gonna just take that entire top layer off so that the uh, kalimba, the wooden part, sits down in there. I think we'll actually be okay. Okay, so I got a pretty decent fit for the kalimba uh, kit here in there. So next step, I'm gonna stain the skull. I am going to be using uh, walnut husks. Uh, I'm gonna, got some water over here um, heating up. I'm gonna put the husk in there. It's gonna make it a dark brown color. Um, and I know it's a fun piece. It's got some fun, cool carving on it. But I kinda wanna bring it back just a notch and give it kind of a, um, a more natural look to it. May add something else, we'll see, but uh, let's go ahead and stain it up, and then I'll secure in uh, the kalimba part. I'll show you how I do that. So uh, staining turned out fairly decent. Now kind of the last step is to um, put in the kalimba uh, part. And you will notice I did end up opening it up a little bit more. I figured that might help Woo. Um, with the, uh, the uh, 
reverberations or whatever you want to call it, the sound, um, echo. Hopefully that'll help it sound a little bit better. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to take the epoxy scalp. This is a two-part epoxy. I'm going to pack it in around the edge uh, and then just kind of um, push the kalimba down into that and get it nice and snug in there and this will definitely give it a nice hold. Okay, now I'm just gonna let the epoxy cure and then we should be done. And there you have it, uh, the skull kalimba from a cow skull. Functional, it does, does work. Um, I know you want to hear what it sounds like and I will do my best here in a minute to pluck something out. Uh, I am not uh, musically gifted in that sense and I have not gained any skill in that area. So I'm gonna leave that up to um, Porca Pizza, Pizza, Porca Pizza, sorry man if, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this is who I made it for, so uh, I'm going to be sending this to him. Uh, he is a music artist who makes music from recycled material, does some pretty crazy cool stuff. Um, as you heard, the music uh, for this video was him playing, so he is going to do a much better job at that, and I will be sure to post that uh, once I do get some audio from him so stay tuned with that if you don't already follow me on instagram um, i'll definitely be updating it there so guys thanks for watching if you do give this uh, a try uh, let me know um, let me know what you think in the comments as far as how i did not everything turned out perfect but um, always a learning experience uh, when you do something new so all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video